I grew up in Norco, California, kind of a horse town. We didn't have sidewalks. It was all kind of horse trails everywhere you'd go and abandoned golf course behind our house and things like that. I got into artistic stuff early in life. I was never much of a great artist, but I'd make things like trading cards that my friends around the neighborhood and I would all play a game and comic books and things like that. It wasn't until later years, teenager, early teens, that I started getting into VFX. And my friends and I, just with our really low quality camcorder, would go around and back in the swamps and things with swords and fake guns. And I do really terrible VFX. You know, my late teens to 20s, that's when I came to LA Film School and really got to put into real more professional practice all the things that I kind of did as a hobby as a kid. So one of my favorite memories at LA Film School was access to a full color 3D printer. And it was a special really kind of pricey, expensive kind that would lay down a layer of sand and then print it with color. The, the ink was both a glue and an ink that would lay down layer by layer at a time. But when we started, it wasn't set up yet. It was brand new. And so I got to be a whole part of doing all the troubleshooting and doing all the first test prints. And I would just sit there for hours after school hours, just watching it go across over and over again, layer of sand, go over to the ink, hours spent just watching paint dry, but it was one of the most fun things for me because I'd never gotten to work with this kind of technology before. I'd say my first big break in the industry was working at a company that was doing stereoscopic conversions, which means we take a movie that was 2D and turn it into 3D. And it was pretty interesting. I, I got to work on some of my favorite franchises. I worked on Captain America, The Avengers, I worked on the 3D re-release of Titanic, but I really wanted to be a programmer, a technical artist. And I didn't really have a lot of the skills yet. I could kind of program, I could look up documentation. I wasn't solid in any way, uh, but I was programming tools for After Effects. We didn't have internet access or flash drives. So when I wanted to work on it at home, I had to print it out at work, type it back in at home, print it out and bring it back and forth that way. And there was this one person, Scott Johnson, the head of the tool development team at the time. And he really gave me my first opportunity as a programmer. He always was super supportive of me and kind of taught me, I may not know something, but it's not know something yet. And it always instilled me with this idea that it was possible to learn whatever I wanted to. And he had my back. That was a lot of fun. It was my big break. It was what turned my career into what it has become. And I'm, I guarantee I wouldn't be where I was if it wasn't for that opportunity. The most important thing to me is having friendship in this industry. Most of my friends I've met through work, even people that I haven't worked with for 10 years, our friendships continue well past that original common interest. And then there's people who I worked with and then we went to different places and then came back together. I'm friends with people from school still even who I have brought in to work with me at other places. And it's not just friendship for the sake of getting jobs and having connections and things like that. It's we hang out after work. So many of these jobs that I've had, we're eating lunch together and playing board games and things like that. And that's one of my favorite parts about work in this industry is I get to come to work and it's like we're hanging out with friends all day. For professional uh, security, we, we all look out for each other, but also day-to-day -day friendship as well. And I think it's important to make genuine connections with people. And I would say there's a million ways to be successful, but that's one of the ones that is most important and has worked in practice for me.